Uh, a very good morning to you, Mr. Wolf, and thanks for your time. Uh, listening to interviews you did earlier this morning, you sounded very diplomatic about Nigel Farage's position, but the impression I had was that you thought he perhaps shouldn't be leading the party right now. Is that a, a, fair, a fair assessment? No, I think I made it absolutely clear that Nigel has said that after the uh, election, all the hard work that he had done, that he deserved to have a break. And I think that that break was something that he said that he wanted and that the enthusiasm of the NEC was that to uh, the, uh, ensure that he doesn't get that period of break because we need to move in to the EU referendum. I can understand that. We have very capable people like Paul Nuttall who would have taken control during that period of, the, uh, of Nigel's break and he would have come back confused. But as you saw last night, he was back to his ebullient, happy, positive self, making an audience of question time actually clap for him, which I think shows how good he was last night. Uh, and you indeed said uh, more than once the NEC pushed him into this. They denied him the opportunity uh, to have the break he richly deserves, I think was the exact quote from one of the interviews. But Yes. You know, can, can a leader really have a break and then reassume the leadership at some point while the discussion continues? Oh, absol absolutely. I mean, we see it with our own colleagues, the Swedish Democrats in, in, in the European Parliament. They had a leader that had a period of time, and I understand he's come back in Sweden and is now leading the, the charge there. Actually, they're pretty frightened of him. And Nigel is the sort of character that would actually come back, uh, and as he has done in the past, and lead, lead this party Incredibly so th forward. this is not your polite way of saying actually you'd rather see him step down then in other words? No, absolutely not. I mean, that's your interpretation. The, the campaign didn't do as well in some respects. Obviously, the party increased its share of the vote considerably, uh, but it didn't get the number of MPs that you would like to have got into Westminster. So really, should based on that, should someone new not take over the helm? No, I think what we've got is we increased our vote, increased our percentage, increased the number of councillors that we had. And the only disappointment we have is that we didn't increase the number of MPs. And what should happen now in the party is have that period of reflection, just like all the other political parties are doing now, where we look at what we did well, We'll look at what we did badly, and Patrick O'Flynn's in, interjection in that was a very positive part of this, of saying that we shouldn't allow some of the negativity slip in because we ran the most positive campaign of, of all the political parties. And that's what I would like to see happen now in our party, because you, you could, we you... have to move on to the EU. And we all can be thin-skinned as politicians because we are all human after all. But what you absolutely saw there was Nigel on top form last night, but... and, and that's the sort of character that the public in this country love and need for us all to get out of the European Union but, with but a very positive mm -hmm. campaign. We know that our message is incredibly positive for getting out of the European Union. It's a way of trading with everybody in the world, the hundreds of nations out there, being able to go and commute with them, talk to them and have our own control of our own borders because that will lead us into a more positive economic future. Just clarify for me, if you can, um, what the discussion has been around the use of short money, this funding for smaller parties, because Nigel Farage is saying he doesn't want uh, to see UKIP using that, but surely the party takes funding from various European sources, even though uh, you would like to renegotiate the terms of that relationship. Well, I think Nigel, Nigel made a very clear positive message that really what we're saying is that political parties shouldn't be funded by, by, the, by the UK state. And that, of course, all that short money goes to the Labour Party, the Liberal Democrats, the Greens, for example. And he will take that message into, again, I suppose, the NEC or those in controlling it. There is going to be a coalition of people from all political parties and, all, and people who are not part of political parties who are going to put forward a message to this country that the old sclerotic European Union which is a, a model of the past is not the model of the future and they will all come together and UKIP and our parties and Nigel will play a part in that positive message. Okay, Stephen Wolfe, uh, UKIP MEP, thank you very much.